Here we have an old 18 volt NICAD battery that has died. It is measuring less than 0.01 volts. We can see plenty of corrosion on the terminals. The plastic is cracked from being dropped. The battery pack weighs 807 grams. Trim an old screwdriver to remove the security screws. Open up the battery pack and we want the terminals. Pull out the old NICAD batteries. We can repair the cracked case as well. Here we want the battery terminals. This shows the heat sensor. The heat sensor can be connected in series but I will be leaving it out as I'm using lithium ions. Clean up the corrosion and join the new wires. Insert the terminals into the case and epoxy bond them in. Choose 5 lithium ion cells of the same capacity. Use a spot welder to join the cells in series. I join the cells in this configuration. Later I had to run one cell at 90 degrees to fit it into the case. Spot welding creates less heat than soldering. The combined voltage is about 20.65 volts. We used a 5 cell BMS. We follow the wiring sequence. So the balanced charging board senses the battery voltage of each cell. It makes sure that all cells are the same capacity. This is opposed to the setup which does not have separate cell detection called non-balanced. This is the spec sheet for the BMS board. So 5 cells will equal 21.15 to 21.4 volts. This is an 18 volt charger but what is the output voltage? The output voltage is 27.73 to about 27.8 something volts. There is an output of 27.73 volts so we need 21.15 to 21.4. I did some tests and any voltage outside these parameters would lead to zero charge. We use a simple 317K voltage regulator circuit. So here we have a 317K voltage regulator circuit set up. We weld it onto the case so that we can solder onto it. This is a 270 ohm resistor. Okay, and it's joined here to from there to the case to the adjust terminal. And out of that, we've got a 3.3K resistor. And the negative goes in here and comes out through there as well. It goes out through there. The positive of the 20 0.85 volts goes into the input, comes out of the case at around 20.0 volts. This is the factory charger wires. The negative output was taken from a capacitor as the factory output had a voltage sense on it. The 3.3k resistor was swapped to a 5 to 10k pot. The pot was adjusted so we have a voltage of 21.31 volts. Luckily the charger red LED comes on when it senses output current. When the battery is fully charged, the LED turns off. The new weight is about 405 grams as opposed to 807 grams. It's a lightweight with built-in BMS and it's powerful. Thanks for watching.